my cataract surgery experience. Watch this video so you will know what to expect when it's your turn. It's a big day. I'm going to get my cataract surgery on my left eye. And I want to share with you guys the experience of all this so you know what's coming when it's your turn. Uh, the first thing is, I had noticed, you know, first I started wearing glasses. Of course, all of us, once we pass 40, most people start to, to need glasses, some sooner than later. Uh, unfortunately, I was able to hold it off for quite a while, and about a year or two ago, I started wearing these glasses. And these are, I enjoy these glasses because they're bifocal, but you, there's no line in between. And also, they turn into sunglasses, which is something I never wore before. It may be the reason why I have cataracts now, but uh, this morning, it, uh, it's now about 5 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to go in for surgery at 6.45, so I wanted to get up early and not be stressed out, and I wanted to share this with you. Uh, first thing is, uh, you go to the eye doctor, they give you a bunch of uh, tests, and then they say, yes, you have cataracts, and uh, cataract surgery is completely covered by Medicare. Uh, so uh, your out-of-pocket cost should uh, be only, uh, well, you, if, if you have a Medicare supplement, uh, which covers what Medicare doesn't cover, my total expense for this operation is going to be $46.08. The doctors do offer you a uh, uh, optional lens that, uh, that there's two types. There's like a bifocal lens that they replace the cataract with. And there also is a lens that's uh, very involved that has eight circles uh, in, in the lens that uh, is supposed to give you better vision and no need for glasses. Uh, I studied it. I looked at everything on the Internet. I went as far. I asked everybody that's had cataract surgery. And the majority have told me, you know, it's no big difference between uh, getting the lens that comes free with uh, your Medicare and getting the more expensive one. In fact, some people have told me that the more expensive one has a halo around it, and also it's difficult night vision. So I figured, you know, I'm not that unhappy wearing glasses, so I figured might as well go with the less expensive one, you know, that's covered, because the doctor asked for uh, $2,800 additional for uh, over and above what Medicare paid them. So I thought that was quite expensive. Uh, you may think differently, but for me, I felt that all I want to do is see clearly. So, uh, in the, the day before, the, you had to get some prescription uh, to take. So, one of them is uh, one drop a day the day before, and then this one is uh, three drops in, during the day the day before. And then you have to take all this to the doctor's office that morning. So, when you, when you have the procedure, you have these two plus an additional one post-operation to, to use in your eye. So I'm going to sign off now, and I'll come back uh, at the doctor's office. See you later. Bye-bye. Early in the morning, it's uh, now 6.30 a.m., and I'm here at the, uh, the medical center to start the procedure. We'll see what happens. Well, here we are. It's uh, post-operate, uh, and I felt no pain, and it was very quick, 10 minutes or so, no anesthesia, and uh, everybody was very nice, and uh, like I said, I felt no pain. I uh, didn't experience any discomfort, so it went all very well. Bus isn't allowed to go home after resting for a while in the recovery area. It is required that you have someone to drive you home. Following the doctor's instructions is essential for a good and speedy recovery. The length of the healing period depends on the patient's age and medical condition. For several days after surgery, you will need to take prescribed eye drops or pills to help healing. You will need to protect your eyes while you sleep and must use the plastic eye shield given to you by your doctor. You should call your doctor if you have symptoms such as decreased vision, or increased swelling or redness. The doctor will instruct you not to lift anything heavier than 25 pounds to avoid straining yourself. You must not rub your eyes.
you will normally see the doctor the day following the surgery to inspect your eye and make sure of your complete surgery success. My procedure was done by Dr. Satish Modi, MD, of the C2I Center, 8454541025. I cannot say enough about how well I was treated by the friendly and professional staff of people who work with Dr. Modi. Don't be afraid of correcting problems with your vision out of fear. Cataract surgery in the hands of an experienced surgeon makes all the difference. Please share this video tutorial with everyone on your email list and subscribe. Go to our website saturdaydiet.com to get your free meal replacement recipe and 13 page weight loss report. Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information. Bye.